what is up all my dumpster peeps how in the heck are you guys i am super because we're going dumpster diving ooh, ooh, ooh. that's enough shannon i am so excited to go diving because it is 50 degrees out guys it's like a freaking heat wave here i mean i don't even have a jacket on or long johns i don't know it's crazy i know but here's the downfall. There's always a downfall when you live in Pittsburgh, you know? It's gonna rain. <laughs> so that should be tons of fun. It's supposed to start any minute and rain all night. Yay! Shoot. I should go get an umbrella for Beth. She never uses one anyway. <laughs> Every time I'm like, I have an umbrella, go get it. She's like, I'm fine. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Anyway, if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I am a dumpster diver. I have been doing this for over three years. And when I first started, I was by myself. And I did it for about almost two years by myself. And my best friend was like, why don't I come with you? Like, I feel bad, you're going at night, it's dark, you're alone, I just get worried. We're both moms, we both stay at home, we're both married. So, she's like, I don't have anything to do. Like, I wanna see what's in these dumpsters with you. So I was like, yes, let's do it. And ever since, she comes with me every single time, ever since day one. Like, she has become straight addicted like I have. And we were getting so much stuff that, hold on chapstick guys these lips in winter I can't we were getting so much stuff that I didn't know what to do with it I was like I can't I can't hold all this there's just no way and even renting a um what is that called a storage unit there's so much money and the one that I had rented was so far out of the way and I have to do the reveal video to show you guys so I'd be taking it and unloading it and reloading it and unloading it and reloading it like three times and it's that's just a lot of work I mean it really is and I don't have the best back so I was like what else can we do with this so then I found you know the no-kill pet shelter which is close to me which I donate all the pet stuff to except for a few things I may keep for my dog of course and I was like what else is there to donate to that's near me and I didn't have any connections to anybody. So I was like, okay, there's a church in my town that has a free pantry. Great. So I started taking all the stuff straight to this free pantry and it was small. It was like a little box. I'm running out of room here. I'm filling this thing up and I still have boxes upon boxes of stuff. So then I was setting the boxes in front of the free pantry and writing free, take me. But I noticed that then like maybe a month afterwards, they changed the way that they were doing it. And they put a big note on the front that said, you can no longer just place items in the free pantry. You must deliver it to uh, the local bank that's in town or a restaurant called Brady's. And then all the items are then picked up from there, gone through and then put into the free pantry. So I was like, okay, I can do that, no big deal. So I was delivering everything to the bank. And I was taking huge boxes in. I think I have videos of it, of me actually carrying the boxes in. So I did that. And then the following week, I go back. From the first week, that box was still sitting there with all the food in it. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Th this isn't what I want to happen. Like, I I'm getting all this stuff. I wanted to go to help people now. People can't wait weeks. And I'm driving past that food pantry, and it's empty every time I drive past it and I have all these donations sitting at the bank and I'm like why is the pantry empty and all these donations I'm giving to them are sitting in the bank not being given to the people that are in need and I was so frustrated with it I was like there's got to be a better way there's just got to be so finally one of my amazing subscribers Tara who is local to me reached out to me and was like listen I live for this I love this stuff let me help you let me come get all the stuff. I'll contact all the organizations and I'll take it to them. So ever since then, now we help so many organizations, so many. We help a women and children's center. We help the Western Pennsylvania Diaper Bank, two different no-kill shelters, over a hundred school district kids. So we donate to this church. It's actually Tara's church and they actually get goodie bags together and get this, they drive it every single week to 100 families 
and hand deliver the groceries to them. I mean, that church goes above and freaking beyond and they are amazing. So now that's where everything we get pretty much goes. Um, like I say, 99.999% of everything we get gets donated. Beth is my best friend. Of course, she's able to take whatever she wants, whenever she wants. Also, of course, my children, my husband, and I may take some decor, but that's pretty much it. For the most part, everything we get helps people. And that is what we have become so passionate about now. So that's what we do. We dive to donate. So yeah, I lost my train of thought. That happens a lot too. <laughs> so let's just go jump in these downstairs. Oh, sheet set. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Wonder what size they are. There's also a pillow back there, guys. But look, you can see, I just dropped my flashlight. Uh, they sliced it in the back. And there's a blanket. They didn't slice that. Let me go put this in the car. I'm trying to get my dang coat on. I wasn't prepared, man. I usually don't ever have anything here. I don't know what this is. fireplace? I think it is. It's in the box. Oh, got it. <laughs> Let me set you down before I drop it. There's shattered glass everywhere. Oh, it is. Dang it. <laughs> I just carried it here and the glass is broken. Man, I carried it all the way back and the glass was shattered. <laughs> Alright guys. Jeez, oh man, we're at the next dumpster. There's stuff. Get my new bag. <laughs> that has all my sayings on it. It's so cool. Thank you again. So we got frosted flakes. It's covered in detergent. Like the Tide Pods broke, but it's just the outside bags. Oh, okay. They're like the outside of the box. Or game flings. Oh, okay. oh pads. Halloween crunch. Oh, I see the pads. All these pads. Are they not frosted flakes? We got them somewhere else, too. That's and weird. It's the first time I've ever seen them. Mucinex. Oh, yes. Gloves. Oh, so good. <laughs> good find. Empty Pringles. Oh, how did they, they open them? Like they were sealed. Alright, at least I'll smell good tonight. Getting all oh, this. Yeah. There's stuff all in there. Classic yellow cake mix. Is that in a bag? Yeah. Yeah. Some life savers. Calls empty. Man, that sucks they did that to the cane flames. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's this? Oh, aspirin. It's in there. Oh, is it? That's oh, fresh linen, automatic sprayer. Oh god, I'm sinking. Alright, we got a whole bag of stuff, bro. Huh? It's all awesome. right, guys. Candle dumpster. My gut hurts. <laughs> Goodness, we are having awesome luck yet again. Holy guacamole! All right, guys, we are checking Burlington. Huh, we just went to Home Good, somebody was already there. So now we got to race to get to all the other dumpsters before we're beat.
the Dollar General. I'll come get you if there's stuff. Nothing today. Again, this Dollar General has hated us for the last two months. We're at CBS. Underneath that bag is a lot of pop. Oh, God, everything's wet. Oh, this dumpster's soaked. My butt's stretched. Great. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm trying to balance here. Hopefully, I don't go face first. That would suck. All right, let's not make them too heavy. I don't know what this is, but we'll put it in here. Okay. I'm trying not to fall. Oh, that one's dead. Goodness gracious, I'm so tired of being soaking wet. We're at Big Lots, guys. It looks like it's gonna be empty. There's a chair. There's a big old chair in there. Man, it is coming down, guys. Tomorrow we're supposed to have a giant ice and snowstorm. All right, CVS, guys. Probably gonna be the same stuff. The same magazine. Is that full? Is you hold that? Oh, yeah, that's a heavy bag. It's just missing. Okay, we got a ginger ale. Oh, yeah, there's more ginger ale in here. Can get the bag. Oh, what? <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. More ginger ale. Tons of ginger ale. Sweet. Some Trojans. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Thin and crispy chocolate chip cookies. It's in that one container. Magnesium. In that container right there. Oh. Hydro Boost Night Serum. I didn't even see that. We got a puzzle. It's like an egg thing. Not I'm getting poured on. I think that's it. Oh, another ginger ale. That's pretty cool. We got some ginger ale, some cookies, some Oh, God, the rain's down in my butt crack. That is cold. It's just trash. Oh, God, I'm soaked. I know. Right, guys we're at dollar general finally we found stuff it has been a long few hours of diving and finding nothing we got a big old tote you got it yep oh don't fall out don't fall out everything is so wet got it i think oops <laughs> Too. We got sugar wafers. Nice. Strawberry. Those are the good ones. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this bag. Let me get my fat butt off of it. Just take the whole freaking bag. More Diet Coke for your mother in law. Oh, that's garbage. Oh man, my butt is soaked from touching the dumpster. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everything is just soaking Everything wet. is just soaked. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna have to crawl over there to get that blanket. Thank God they put it on that side. <laughs> I know, with the lid shut, that's nice. Thank you. Ooh, Kleenex? Please don't be soaked. It's not. Oh, those marshmallows are hard as a rock. Coca Cola. Oh, cotton candy. Yeah, there's a lot of it. It's nice. All sealed. Yes. It's for Easter. Why are they throwing it? Yeah, why are they throwing it away? Oh. Got a can. I'm sure wipers are going crazy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 
careful. God, I'm drenched. Pepper, one more Dr. Pepper. It's pouring, guys. <laughs> Put this in the car before it gets wet. And I fall on the oh, other. Oh, God, my car is wet. <laughs> Have I said how much I hate rain? <laughs> if I haven't, I really hate rain. Look at my glasses. I can't even freaking see out of them. I, I don't have anything to wipe them on. <laughs> we are both completely drenched. Like, we were in there for what, five minutes, oh, not yeah. even? And we're completely yeah, soaked. It, it was really pouring. Like my underwear are <laughs> soggy. <laughs> but we got lots of stuff, so super excited about it. I'll get over being wet. We'll dry off, it's okay. All right, guys, we are at CVS. Beth found a couple things in the bag. Is there anything in here? No, it's light. Okay, well. We got some nail glue and some pain and fever. God, it is, look at this guys, it is dumping. We are completely drenched. <laughs> All right guys, we're at another Dollar General and there's more stuff. And I'm kind of sad about it because I'm so wet. And I'm just gonna get soaked even more, but we gotta get the stuff. Only right. I'm thinking this is all cereal. Yeah, I think so. Oh my um, god, coffee cakes. An old honking bar. Look at all that cheese. Oh. oh my god, we are so soaking wet. It is not even funny. Whew. I think we're going to leave the Tampicos in here for somebody else. That's Somebody else's gobble. Gobble. Garbage. <laughs> gobble. Oh, God. My butt. My butt's wet. My butt's wet. My butt's Everything's wet. ice. <laughs> More ice to walk on. And more ice. It's just like a big pot of ice. <laughs> I don't know how we haven't bit it. I don't either. All right, peeps. I just dropped Miss Beth off at her car. Um... The rain is finally slowing down now that we're completely drenched. <laughs> I'm just gonna check this Dollar Tree and that's gonna finish off our dumpster dive for this evening. It might actually be empty because it just might be. <laughs> oh yeah, never mind. It's not letting up. It just seemed like it in the car. Oh, she's empty. Still smells like chemicals in there too. Ugh. We got so much stuff back here. We got the mirrors, we got all the coffee cakes, everything in this huge tote, all the Swiffers, the Bath and Body Works, all the soda, hex yes. As you guys seen, we went out in the pouring, freezing cold, might I add, rain, <laughs> last night, and wow, did we finally score some awesome stuff. It took a couple hours. At first, we were like, oh my goodness, we're having some good luck. And then it died down for like three hours straight. Like every dumpster we checked had nothing. <laughs> and we were just miserable and soaking wet and we were just about to give up. And as you guys seen, we had amazing luck at $2 Generals that brought the whole thing back to being awesome sauce. The very first place that we went was a Big Lots dumpster. And at first we were so excited when we seen that heating, like, what is that called? Like one of these things, you know, like a little plug-in electric heater. <laughs> it's late, just bear with me. We were so super excited when we seen that. Sadly, all the glass, cause you know, they have glass in the front to protect you. Yeah, it was shattered. So I'm sure you could probably replace it I ain't got time for all that, okay, okay. But we did get a sheet set. I don't know what size these are, no I don't, but it's even in a little protective case, so none of these sheets actually touched the dumpster, so that's awesome. And then we also got this adorable little unicorn blanket, which is so super soft, so that is also another great donation. Then we headed to our 
lovely go-to town. And normally we call it the go-to town because every dumpster is our go-to dumpster. We always get so much stuff. Not lately though. No. So we did go to the Bath and Body Works dumpster. And as you guys seen, we got three bags. I don't know what's in them. We're gonna open them together. So let's do it. Bag number one. Sugared lemon zest candle. Yes, please. That smells amazing, and it's a brand spanking new candle. Bag number two. Ooh, this one's not broken. What is it? Pineapple mango. Oh, yes. Oh, it is broken. Okay, it's broken on the inside. I wish you guys had smell of vision I really do, but it's also a brand spanking new candle. Oh, yes. And then bag number three. Oh God, <laughs> come on, you can do it. No, you can't. Where are you on? They really stapled this sucker. There we go. Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby. It's not a baby. It's a baby candle. And this one is, I don't know. There's no label. What the heck, man? Oh, I know what this is. It's cactus blossom. I know that smell anywhere because it's my fave. So that is everything from Bath and Body. Not too shabby. I mean, we have not gotten anything from that dumpster, so I'll take everything we get. Then we headed to Home Goods, and <laughs> we got beat by another dumpster diver there. I don't know if there was anything in it. I was so mad that we got beat. I didn't even stay to see if they were pulling anything out. So I don't know if they got anything. But then we went to the Burlington. Look at all these socks, 10 pairs of socks. Brand new. Why would you throw those away? I don't know. I've, I've stopped asking these questions. Then we got some decorative mirrors. Of course, that one's broken. But look at how stinking cute that one is. There's nothing wrong. Oh, there's a few panels broken on this one at the bottom, but you can't even really see them. But look how cute those are. If all the pieces are in here, I can just glue them back on and I can donate them, so we'll see. Uh, if you did not see, we did go to another Burlington and this is the only thing we got because um, that's the only thing that was in Then we headed to a CVS and we got some cool stuff there. So we got three, four, five bottles of good old ginger ale, the CVS brand. We got some ultra thin, <laughs> ultra thin Trojans. We got some triple magnesium complex, 400 milligrams. Hydro Boost Neutrogena. Cosby Surprise Egg that has a puzzle and a dinosaur tattoo inside. And lastly, we got some Thin and Crispy Chocolate Chip Cookies. All Pepperidge Farm cookies are amazing. Like $5 a package, and I'm sorry. I ain't paying that much for no damn cookies. So <laughs> hopefully I'll find them in the dumpster. We also did go to another CVS in a different town because like I said, we went all over. We were out for seven and a half hours <laughs> and yeah that, that's a long time to dumpster dive in the freaking rain my underwear were freaking soggy no joke <laughs> no joke they were soggy and the only thing we found was a pain and fever for kids and a kiss nail glue that was a return that's when things started going downhill. Like we just weren't having any luck we weren't finding things anywhere and if we were it was like one or two things and we were just really starting to get down. Like, man, this is gonna be a crappy dumpster dive. And, you know, we donate 99.999% of all this stuff. So when we don't find a lot of stuff, it really bothers us. And it just, you know, it just sucks, plain and simple. So when we pulled into the $1 General and I seen that huge tote and it was filled to the brim with all of this stuff, Oh my goodness, did it ever so make my heart happy. We found three bags of cheese it Snapped. I don't know how many bags of Chips Ahoy with Reese's, but they must be a penny item because we're finding them in every Dollar General. About six or seven packages of family size golden Oreos, two family size Chips Ahoy Chewy, one regular size Chips Ahoy Chewy, one Chips Ahoy regular, and one Oreo. We also got three cinnamon graham crackers, one saltines, and all of those coffee cakes back there. And let's not forget the Clover Valley chocolate chip cookies. We also got the sugar wafers, the fruit snacks, the Dr. Pepper, 
all of those two liters and the Diet Coke. And of course, let's not forget the, what are those things called? Uh, cotton candy. <laughs> Spit it out, Shannon. The first Cellar General, we got three boxes of the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes, a box of Halloween Crunch, some Mucinex, cake mix, always discreet pads, the box of aspirin, the fresh linen um, spray, refill spray thing, the lifesavers. And let's not forget my favorite find, latex gloves. Then of course she's seen we went to a different Dollar General also. And out of that one, we found three packages of the Swiffer Wet Jet cloth wipes or cloth refills, whatever they are. You know what I mean? The only other thing we got out of that dumpster was the big bottle of vinegar, which is back there. I'll show you that in a second. Then you guys seen we did go to a different CVS and we got tons of the 20 ounce bottles of soda. So let me show you all that soda over there. There is the vinegar that I was just talking about. And then we got a ton of cherry vanilla Coke, regular cherry Coke, Cherry Zero Coke, and regular Coca-Cola. We also got one bottle of Fanta, that little gold cup back there, which is actually a flower pot holder. This plant, which I have no idea what it is. Hopefully I can nurse it back to health. I don't know how to pronounce that and I'm not gonna try. <laughs> and then we got this guy, which is a, oh, it's a cactus. I'll probably kill it because I already killed my last one. As you can see, it's not over there. I killed it. <laughs> also from the Dollar General, we got that adorable $15 pink blanket. There is no stains on it and it is so super soft. So that will be a great donation. And lastly, you did see us grab just a whole bag out of the dumpster. I was like, this whole bag's loaded. Let's just take the whole thing. Cause as you guys seen, we were getting dumped on, we were completely drenched, and I was just over it. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't even care if there's something funky in it, I'll deal with it at home. We got a standard heating pad in the box. We have a ton more of these sugar wafers and the strawberry, a ton more fruit snacks. Ooh, some vitamin C, which these are gonna be a great donation. 13 vitamin Cs, that's awesome. Some chocolate, wafers, two more packages of the strawberry, some Vaseline. We also got, oh, some more cotton candy. Oh, some more fruit snacks, some makeup, and some cheddar cheese Clover Valley crackers. And what is this? Oh, are these cheesecloths? I think these are. I don't know, are they? It's cotton, so I don't know if they're cheesecloths or just like a towel. I'm not really sure, but either way, we got two of them. And that, my friends, is everything we got. I mean, it started out rough, but I'm gonna tell you, this was an awesome dive. Just so much stuff that we can donate, and I'm super happy with this dive. I wasn't happy when we were covered in rain and almost falling and killing ourselves on the ice, <laughs> but, in the end, it was totally worth it. Well, that, my friends, is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with Beth and I at the dumpsters. And of course, thank you for hanging out with me today in the reveal. I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, guys, happy diving. Bye.